Hey guys, welcome to a lovely day in the hills of Bolivia. Um, I'll see if I can show you guys how high we are. <laughs> because it's pretty freaky. So it's not the best day for visibility, but um, it's just sheer drops. I guess every road is a death road in Bolivia. Um, so yeah, so what the hell am I doing up here? So, um, today is the 10th of May, uh, it's Wednesday, and I've come south off the road that goes to uh, Samapata, and went south to a place called Valle Grande, which is, for all the history buffs, uh, it's where they buried Che, and not only that, it's I think uh, that's it's where they took him after they killed him. Uh, they took him there, and the CIA took photos of him in the hospital there. So you can see those photos online to like obviously identify the body, um, to make it all official and. Yeah, and then there's a airstrip there with a, like a cemetery, and they buried his body. Um, Ruta de Che. Uh, they buried his body there, uh, and it was only like I think in the 90s, 97, I think, when somebody who was part of the uh, party that buried him came forward and said, "Yeah, they this is where he was buried," and from there, they the Bolivian and the Cuban government agreed to um, dig up his body and then send it back to Cuba uh, which I think is where he's now buried I'm not too sure which town but but yeah so uh, Valle Grande is back that way um, so I'm now heading to a place called La Iguera, uh which is a small village where he was actually captured and shot so um, it's the road is obviously to that part is <laughs> like this so it's going to be a pretty long day but i have time on my side and i heard the road was actually quite spectacular uh it's a shame about the clouds um but i'm hoping when i come back this way it'll be much clearer so i can see some of the spectacular views because yeah it's very lush it's very nice we are definitely up in the clouds it's been quite a <laughs> challenging ride. It's very, very muddy, as you can see by the bike. Um, but, a lot of fun. So I've got my big man gloves on. They're waterproof. Um, but it's not raining anymore. It's just cloudy. So yeah, good times. For those with the tiger, this mud guard is pretty shit for a, I mean you'd expect for a um, the XE edition to be a little bit more off-road but this this type of mud when it dries it gets quite hard and it gets stuck up in the little bit up there and um, what that means is it's very difficult to get it off and then of course it gets stuck and then it, it, the wheel won't go round or the wheel will go round but the mud guard gets stuck on the tyre yeah can be um quite shit but yeah it seems to be okay today but uh when you're riding proper mud it's not very good sweet that's right Uh, don't just stand there. Fuck's sake. Ruta del Che! After some pretty gnarly roads. 
It looks like we have arrived. Hey guys, uh, welcome to La uh, Iguega. It's uh, the place where Che was captured and the next day executed. Um, so he was actually captured by Bolivian uh, forces, I think down in the valleys down there somewhere. Um, and Bolivian slash CIA forces. Um, but yeah, so this is the town. It's a, well, it's a village really, and it hasn't really changed too much since 50 years ago. It's the 50th anniversary this year, 2017. But yeah, it's um, it's only population of like 50 people. Um, but yeah, we can have a look around. So there's many monuments to Che here. It's here's a big one here that's like twice his size. <laughs> um, and here we have a, a shop that a lady runs. She was one of the last people to see him alive and also fed him his last meal. Um, this is the school where he was held um, until the president gave the order to execute him the next day. And as you see here, more monuments. Um, and yeah, this is the main one here. Um, with dogs. <laughs> and yeah. And over here, there's now a museum for um, everything Che related. It's actually apparently where he was shot, so I'm not too sure about that. Um, yeah. It's a very small village. <laughs> it's a dead end. So the village starts like just there and ends just past those houses there. Um, so... To be honest, it's actually a very pretty place. It would be worth visiting um, even before it became infamous because of uh, what unfortunately happened here. So, um, yeah, and the road here is amazing. Like, it's up in the mountains. It's really, really nice. Um, so, yeah. What else do we have here? There's also a square here. With a, they actually shaped the square um, in the star. And there's another statue there, that, which actually looks nothing like it. <laughs> but, yeah. Welcome to glorious Bolivia. It's um, absolutely stunning. So this morning I left uh, uh, the town where Che was uh, captured and executed. And now I've come back up to like Valley Grande's here where they held him in uh, his body to take photos and also where he was buried initially for what like 20 years near the airport um, now I'm riding, I've come back up to Valley Grande and I'm going around this way to Samapata uh, because there's a condor, place where you can hike to see condor nests and stuff like that but I haven't really gone far and I mean look at the scenery here <laughs> It's stunning. There's condors flying here, and if I don't know if you'll see one, but there's a massive one on the ledge up there. He's probably like two meter wingspan. Um, so yeah, I mean, in typical Bol Bolivian style, the roads of gravel are actually really, really good because it's like hardened clay. And yeah, like you, you can actually get a fair bit of speed now. There's <laughs> never any barriers, which is always fun. Um, but you do get stunning views like this. Um, 
yeah so let's uh let's go for a ride and hopefully we can get some condors pretty close um you can see there's one there i don't know how you call a condor but uh, maybe i won't need to hike after all if you see this many so close And we have, must have an amazing view of the valley. Sweet. Okay, that's right. Yeah, so the scenery in Bolivia um, is pretty spectacular. And as I said before, like these roads, uh, I've been riding on this one for about half an hour now. There's no cars, um, absolutely nothing. Great sheer drops. <laughs> Whee! No barriers here. Um, let's just pull over for a sec. So, <laughs> if you uh, take a wrong turn, it can be pretty, um, pretty disastrous.
Just up the road a bit on the side of the road, There's, there was not one car came past last night. But yesterday I came around here and um, kind of was going a bit too fast. Hit kind of the side there where it's very slippery and the bike went over in the mud. Um, lifted it up and it fell on the other side. So it's quite draining. Um, so um, yeah, I decided to just camp for the night. It was getting dark anyway. So yeah. Um, so the bike's in a good shape. Uh, the fall cracked this mirror, and it hasn't really gone back properly either. So I have to get that fixed in Santa Cruz. Um, but yeah, and also some things fell out of here into the mud, and I just had to come back. Oh, uh, about I went three k's and realised that the GoPro mount fell into the water. So I just came back and got that as well. Um, so yeah, so it's been quite fun. But this area of Bolivia is absolutely stunning. Um, it's, uh, there's nobody here, it's just a lot of farms, it reminds me a lot of, like, England, um, but I'll show you, because I have to go back the way I came, so, uh, and there's some nice little, looks like dairy farms and stuff, um, so let's check it out. Yeah, it was a good sleep. Um, I actually camped just for a bit of grass right there. So yeah, set up shop there. Um, yeah, not one car went past. <laughs> and since I've been up this morning, not one car's come past. So it's not a very uh, used road, I don't think. But for those overlanding in Bolivia, highly recommended. Um, it's in pretty good condition, apart from obviously there's been rain recently. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's uh, it's alright because it's, it's really hard, packed down clay. So as long as it's not too muddy, my yeah, I, I need. I'm gonna get to Santa Cruz, which is only like 150 k's away. I'm gonna get some more tires because these are not for this kind of stuff, and this is the kind of stuff I want to start doing more of. So, yeah, it's been pretty good. But just up here, there's a really cool valley. Um, and more of these very bumpy parts. What the? So you can see, yeah, see out there, stunning little farms in the valley. Um, maybe that's why they don't really use the road because they're probably very self-contained. Self-contained, self-contained. Um, they have water feed for the cows and stuff. It's very green here. Um, So I was expecting to get to this waterfall, which is only 10 k's away from here, but after dropping the bike, really ran out of steam. Um, not, not just physically, but mentally as well, so I set up camp. Um, and yeah, so I'll visit the waterfall and see how we go, but I'll probably head tonight to Samapata. Um, Cause I'm quite hungry. I got past it, but yeah, had no energy to cook it last night, so I just decided to go straight to bed. Um, look at these amazing roads. <laughs> they actually look bad, badder than they actually are, because they're not actually. There's a lot of you can get a lot of traction on them, so, and that's the most important thing for me, especially with these tyres. Is um. From sliding out underneath you.
I knew this was a bit closer, I would have just camped in there. Nice flat, little ramp to get in there. Would have been perfect. Oh well. Spend the night with the cows. Now we climb, so it's just valley, rolling valleys, like valley after valley after valley. Um, so obviously every time you go down into the valley there's most likely going to be a river crossing or mud which is kind of where I got stuck before. Um, and then you come up the other side and the, obviously the road's a lot drier and much more fun. Just after I stopped the last video, coming down this hill, hit a gully, couldn't break, slid, uh, pretty well wedged into a ditch, so he like whoosh, down. Now I've never done this before, but I need to try and get it back on the road. Uh, I've just lifted it up. Oh, it's heavy. Let's see how we go, yeah? Oh, such a balancing act. Fuck, this is gonna be hard. This can fuck off. Ugh. Fuck. Wow. <laughs> Woo! And uh, that's we're back. I think the waterfall down there, then you ride back up the road this way. Um, so, yeah, let's go uh, check it out. Um, I've been the battery on the GoPro last. It's not too much further. Um, Yeah, the road's improved a lot, as you can see. <laughs> uh, no more falls.